Hello YouTubers, um, this video is going to talk about diamond tech and the point encryption upgrade. I'm having diamond tech endpoint encryption manager installed at the version 11.2.1 uh, just recently to support the new version Windows 10. Um, we have to upgrade to 11.3 uh, Optics 2, I believe. So right now we are 11.2.1. I have all um, 11.3.0.0, check Hotfix 2 uh, package extracted here for installation. Just before we do installation, um, I just want to show you the upgrade guide here. So we're going to upgrade 11.3. So version, this is the guide. So upgrading same second and server. Um, there's a couple of important things in place upgrade. So, an in place upgrade means you upgrade Symantec and Brain Encryption Manager Server according to the latest version without the uninstall current version. So, it's supported uh, through 11.2.1. So, we are lucky so we can do in place upgrade. Okay, so it's a um, long document, a couple hundred, 148 pages. So we don't need to go through all the friends. So here is the process we're going to do. Um, before you run the C server suit x64 file, you have to install a OLEDB drive for SQL Server Setup. I already finished that. So that's the one thing you can make sure. You will get a notification now. If you didn't do it, then you probably will get a notification to say download that. File. So now it's a step of you know, starting to uh, this upgrade feature. We need to close the console first. Okay. And we're going to do it here. Yes. Upgrade the wizard here. Multi-factor application, application by action and license agreement, of course. So we are going to do complete database instance, the course application, Windows application. Management password. Is validating the install. It's supposed to be very straightforward. Um, this is uh, upgrade from 11.1 to 11.3.0. Hotfix 2. Please make sure you have a backup if it's VM, take a snapshot. Um, if it's not VM, just ask uh, if you can install some backup software and uh, have a backup of your whole system. Put in a SQL database, include the files on the local. Um, the whole installation process will take probably 10 minutes. Um, this process is normal process. It's um, depending on process, depending on your CPU, your memory, your database size, how many clients you have, but usually it can be done in 10 minutes. I'm gonna pause the video recording and come back to continue recording after finishing this. Oh, it's going through that. 
Okay, let's keep recording. This thing's going very well. Yeah. That's much less than what I thought. Next. Keep it existing. I don't want to change anything here. Finish. Okay, we can open our console. We can look at the version. Perfect. Now it's 11.3.0 HF2. Everything upgraded. It's very straightforward. No issue at all. Click next, next, next. All done. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. I will bring more about uh, cybersecurity practice into my channel.